let's begin. Which story? Well, you could start with your first one. What do you mean by that? You know, your first memory. Well, I mean, I don't want to start there, but let's just say, after I was put back together. What do you mean, put back together? That would be another story. So anyways, after that, I was moved to a new pizzeria. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And it looked like it was the Grand Rio Bananas. The walls were white and filled with confetti. The checkered pattern was green and black. Balloons hanged the walls and so did posters. The place even had a carousel. After that, I was locked up in a room filled with new yet strange friends. These were either old characters from the previous location or just broken down characters. So then one day I woke up and I didn't know where I was, but there was another person. Someone similar to me, right next to me. Her name was Cassidy. There was also, um, Susie and Fritz. And another character was Mangle. We always stayed in the parts and service room all the time because we were broken. We couldn't be used only for parts. But at night, when everyone left, we would always go outside and meet the others. So let's start with the first time that I finally came out of the parts and service room. So, Freddy, are you ready to go outside? Yes, I'm very excited. Cassidy, are you coming? No, I just want to stay here for now. I'll go alert the others. Okay, Mango, you go do that. Ugh, I can never fit through this door. Ugh, it always has to be piece by piece. Hey, Balloon Boy, can you give me a hand? Gotta say please. Please, Balloon Boy. Ugh, if only I could be beautiful. Okay, the new guy's gonna come out, so I want you all to be on your best behavior. Try to make you nice. Ugh, here come the toys. Hey, guys. Hi, Freddy. So, um, who's the new guy? Here he is. Wow, he looks just like Cassidy. No, because she's visiting here. And she's all broken up. Like them. Freddy, this is why I'm telling you not to befriend those jerks. So what do you guys want to do? Well, um, don't you guys have an office? Yeah, we can go there. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Mango? Right here, stupid. Well, here it is. Nothing that important. Wow, I've never seen an office like this before. Well, I also like it. Sometimes I would tell my stories, then other times maybe Susie, maybe other times Fritz and so on. But Cassidy never talked. She would always just listen. And in time, I even got along with the toys. But then a shocking truth would be learned that the toys would be destroyed and scrapped. Hey guys, did you hear? They're going to scrap the toy animatronics. Oh, that's so sad. What about us? You guys will be redesigned. Perfect. Do the others know? 
I'm not sure. Okay, what is all that loud banging? Guys, we're blowing up this dump. Wait, so you guys know? Yeah, we heard. That's why we're doing it. What the heck is going on here? Come on, guys. We're breaking down this dump. Come on, guys. We gotta get out of here. Come on, everyone. Out, out, out. So, what do we do now? Remember, Freddy, the company wants us. Well, I mean, we could always just, you know, wander alone and, you know, see the world. But then who would take care of you? I could. You, Cassidy? Yeah, why not? Well, we sort of need you. Freddy, we have you. Well, I guess this is our goodbyes. Me, Toy Freddy, Toy Chica, Mango, and Balloon Boy, and Cassie will be going now. Yeah. Well, this looks like the end. Well, I know, but maybe in the future we'll see each other again. Yeah, maybe. Well, goodbye, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Mango, and Balloon Boy. And of course, you, Cassidy. You all take care. Good luck getting rebuilt. What the hell happened here? Well, it looks like this place got all burned up. But why would that happen? I'm not sure. Well, by the looks of it, these... Yeah, these are the ones that we had to pick up. But why are they on the side? Who cares? I just want my money, don't you? Well, yeah, they just pick them up and take them to the new location. So that's the end of the story. Wow, that was such a great story. Didn't you guys like it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, well, of course. Wait, so then what happened to Susie and Fritz? Well, after they brought us here, they saw that they didn't like them that much. So they just scrapped them. And kept me in this room. So I was wondering, Golden Freddy, what is that, you know, baby head that you have up there in that little girl? And that clock of the clown? Oh, that was Circus Baby. Did you know her too? Yeah, she's my sister. What? No, what I meant was as a friend, you know. Like, oh, she's like a sister to me. That type of sister. Well, let's start the story. I want to hear it. Okay, then. Let's begin. So we'll begin in the control module. The room that was between the two auditoriums and in front of you was the circus control. Did you know that this place was also underground? Very astonishing. The place was huge. But I did used to wander a lot throughout the halls, throughout the auditoriums. There was Ballora, Funtime Foxy, and Funtime Freddy. You had Ballora Gallery, then the Breaker Room, then Funtime Auditorium, and of course, Circus Control with Baby and Oya, her Betty Bab. But they were all secretly hatching a plan, a plan to get out of this facility, to put everyone together into one form and escape. If this goes accordingly to plan, we might just do this. But, Ballora, how are we supposed to, you know, put each other together? Who even came up with this idea? Well, it wasn't me. It was Baby. Yes, I created this plan. A plan to get out of this place. A plan to see the real world. So they decided on doing the plan. And they had to go to the one room that would, you know, a 
accomplish the plan. The scooping room. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Each one of you will go up to the scooper and I will go to the other side, press the button, and you will be scooped. After that, your remains will be collected and then we will all be put together. Well, it seems okay to me, so I will go first. Okay, Ballora, good luck. And now we collect her innards and put her parts inside this box. The same thing also happened to the others. They would be scooped and their innards would be taken. And this happened to everyone. So then baby decided to take one last look at her location. But then she had spotted me. But she probably just thought it was a hallucination. And she also took one last good look at the control module. But before she left, she took something, a mask. So I guess this is it. Elizabeth. <gasps> who is that and who are you? Wait, you don't remember who Elizabeth is? No, I don't know who that is. Well, that's you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Elizabeth, I'm your brother, remember? Michael? No, I'm not Michael. Oh, now I remember. So you know I'm... Yeah, my older brother by like two years. Oh, Elizabeth, I missed you so much. Well, now you're not so little anymore. Yeah, I can actually say now that I'm taller than my older brother. So, why do you want to do this? Because we need to escape. Well, it was at least good seeing you after all these years. So, do you need any help? Yeah, I need you to pull, you know, that switch so the scooper can activate. Okay. Ready, sis? Ready. Goodbye. Okay, Elizabeth. Now I'll put you back together with the others. Now all I have to do is put the mask on. I'll take this as a memory. Hello? Baby, are you there? Yes, brother. Hurry up, I want to leave. Yo, yeah, come on. Be quiet. Yes, brother, I can hear you. Who are those? The others, duh. Well, I'm happy that you're okay. Well, brother, I must be going now. It was nice to see you. I hope we see each other again. Yeah, me too. Goodbye. Goodbye, brother. And if you see Michael, tell him I miss him. I will. I love you. I love you too.